All right, what's going on? All right, what's going on YouTube? Today I wanted to talk about, uh, gosh, man, I am super dead and like, I feel really, I'm not gonna say sick, but I don't feel great from this workout. Like, I really push myself. This leg workout is making me feel like garbage. So, excuse the, uh, the scatterbrainedness, but today I wanted to talk about why you might not feel like you're enough and why a ton of people have this problem. And something I just discovered recently about the underlying meaning behind this. It's not that, so let's start. It's not that you aren't valuable because I think everybody is inherently valuable in some way, shape, or form. But the problem with people, including myself, that have self-esteem issues, that have self-worth issues, that can't see the worth in themselves, is that they're measuring themselves by the wrong metrics. And they, their values and their metrics don't match up to help them succeed and feel better about their life and just live a good life. So what do I mean by that? So in my own life, my, my value system has always, or usually has been get better, get better, get better, get better, always seek improvement, which is like a great, a great value to have, but it also came with this whack metric. And it came with this really messed up metric that's made me feel inadequate forever. It's, I just identified this on the car ride to this park. So what it is, is I've been saying to myself for the past like eight years is I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. And yeah, saying I'm not there in my fitness goals and my monetary goals and my relationship goals in my appearance goals, like anything like that, saying that has helped me grow and like turn into a better person. But ultimately it makes me feel really unsatisfied and really self-conscious because I don't feel like I'm enough a lot of the time because of these expectations I place on myself and the metrics I use to measure my value system. So my metrics is if I'm not improving or, no, 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 my metric is I'm not there yet. I don't even have a metric to measure my value. It is literally just always I'm not there yet. And it's really hindered me in some areas of my life. Like it's great for the gym and it's great for work and it's great for all this type of stuff. I'm going to sit down on this. On this. I'm not going to sit down over there because I, I found a copperhead over here and I was playing with it. But right, right here should be fine. Um, so basically what I've been doing, I totally forgot where I was, but like telling everybody this, but it's been hindering my relationships greatly. Like just, uh, just up until recently, I always told myself, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Like. I'm too weird for everybody. I don't, I don't know what to talk about. I'm not good enough, whatever. And it's stopped me from approaching people. It's stopped me from dating. It's stopped me from a lot of things. It's also ruined a couple of my relationships. It's just me like freaking out about not being good enough and uh, just not, not being where I want to be on a certain level, which is great for fitness and stuff like that. It's bad for body dysmorphia, but that's why it's important to choose your values and metrics. Like it takes time to change them, but what you have to do, I've done this with other areas of my life. What you have to do is I've, I've started doing this with my social situations is you have to identify your incorrect value. You, you have to challenge it. You have to create a new one. So, what the fuck is that? All right. So, what I've been doing 
recently is I've always had a problem with social anxiety and like thinking people don't like me and me thinking that and projecting that made it to where people didn't like me or like at least it created the perception in my eyes that people didn't like me because I was always looking for reasons. So what I've started to do is I've started to say to myself, how can I, what are they going to do? All right, hold on. What I've started to say is, do I like them? Do I, do I think they're a cool person or everybody is friendly? You just have to go for it. That's the metric and value I've been placing upon myself these days. And honestly, it's been going pretty well. I've made like a few friends in the past couple of weeks just because of this. Like I've been, I've been breaking out of my fucking social cocoon where I just don't talk to anybody and I just, I just go silent for the whole day and I literally only talk to like two people. I've changed that to where I talk to way more people throughout my day and I'm, I feel way more, I feel better socially. And I want to start doing this with dating. I want to start doing this with my exercise routine because it's really fucked up how I've, I've screwed up my body image and my expectations on myself for my appearance. Uh, I want to start just changing my values. So you could do the same thing, whether it's in fitness, whether it's in what the heck, whether it's in, am I missing my fucking eyebrow? Maybe it's just the lighting. Oh, that's not good. Anyways, um, ignore that. You could cut that part. So, basically, what you could do is pick an area of your life, whether it be school, work, relationships, fitness, appearance, fucking reading, or self-development, whatever. Choose a value that you, like just brainstorm a bit, brainstorm a few different values you could adopt and a a few different metrics you can adopt that would help you change how you see your reality. So if your perspective on exercise is I want to achieve X body, you're going to be in a pretty poor place because you're not going to be happy until you achieve that. And then even then you won't have a goal to go off of for the rest of time. Or like you'll just have to find a new goal and you'll just be deeply unsatisfied. I've done this a few times, trust me. So you could take that to, I want to be in the best shape of my life. I want to feel amazing. I want to, I want to have the energy to do everything on a day-to-day basis that I need to do. And I want to be the best person I can be through fitness. And I want to grow with the pain and grow muscles and develop my cardiovascular fitness. Those could be your new values is just overall fitness and becoming the best version of yourself instead of trying to achieve some sort of, there are my eyebrows, bro. What the heck? I guess it's just the lighting, but yeah, honestly, just, just try experimenting with that because that can change how you see your whole entire world. It's just changing your values and the metrics that you measure them with. So I hope this was helpful hope you enjoyed my little vulnerability story about that. I'm going to be releasing more videos. uh, And yeah, hope you all have a great day. Peace.